nice to um, be heading to work at the moment and actually feeling like, you know, <laughs> there's something a bit more um, going on that I'm interested about in life. I really did have a few years there where I just didn't, not that I didn't care, but I was just so emotionally exhausted from trying. And that I, when I say that, that sounds like such a, a privileged thing to say. Um, but yeah, I was, I was in complete autopilot of needing money, so I earned money, I went home, I drank, and, you know, watched TV, whatever it was, just completely zoned out of life, um, and complaining about life at the same time, even though I wasn't contributing to my own, my own happiness. Um, I'm just so glad to be out of that stage, really glad. Um, and even though, you know, I'm, I'm working at a hardware store during the day and I'm painting in the afternoon and trying to use the light that we now have because it's finally um, spring so it's not dark when you get home but even though it's a different kind of tired it is a really, really nice sense of purpose um, and just enjoyment of my own time. I value my time too much to not do anything with it. And of course I still, I love, <laughs> I love movies and that's a huge um, thing that I'll, you know, happily sit down and enjoy my time watching those things. But, oh my lipstick. Oh, not even lipstick, my chapstick. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyhow, just to, as I'm getting ready and going to work, it's nice that it's not, I don't have a sense of dread because I know my day is so much more than the day. And that is my get up and go alarm which is good, I needed that.
I know that May in general brings this sort of energy around every year, but this year in particular has such a sense of presence right now. And spring usually gives that sense of enjoyment from the blooming flowers and life that is aptly springing back into life. But I'm also not wanting to overlook this energy around me either. I haven't felt so present in a moment for many years. So I'm really wanting to listen and be guided by what is happening. to I actually kind of stopped painting this week and was focusing more on photography and um, yeah editing all of that sort of stuff learning that skill which has been really fun um, and also uh, this this is one of the things that I was photographing this is um, my friend Caitlin Prince has her beautiful ceramics here in Vancouver. Um, if you're local, you should definitely check them out. Anyhow, they're amazing. Um, 
and she was very kind to let me play around with those um, and give that a go. Um, but yeah, so I was doing that and went up into um, the mountains, which was really nice to shoot some of those. Um, yeah, just, you know, lots of being outside and walking around, which is really nice. Um, okay, <laughs> so this is, <laughs> this is how the other one is going. I haven't finished, but I just needed to pull it off my desk because I was getting really frustrated. So that's this guy. Um, and you know, I think I am slowly learning that the, the that perspective is always great because looking at this now I'm not as frustrated as I was at the time um, and it's also kind of really you know slightly different techniques to this guy that I was you saw I was painting um, before maybe in the previous video and then this guy just I think the comparison between those two is really cool and I didn't I didn't actually look at that until this week so you know different tones and all that but just the style is slightly different too um, so yeah that's kind of fun that I'm still as I'm you know being annoyed and frustrated I'm actually consciously still um, learning or trying new things so that's fun that's fun that's that i'm really hungry i think i've been eating rice every day for the past three weeks which is fine because i i could eat the same meal over and over again to be honest um yeah but yeah i'm hungry so i'm gonna make some dinner i think and keep trying um, with this guy, um, but yeah, this weather is so much nicer today, um, there's actually sun out, it's been pouring rain for the past week and a bit, so it's been really miserable, um, yeah, I'm also really self-conscious about the hair right now, I just got it coloured for the first time in like seven years so that's been a while um, it's fine I need to let the hair go I keep um, looking at myself in the mirror and feeling really unnatural but I'm <laughs> at the same time I'm like it's just another shade of brown and it's also the brown that was underneath like my natural colour underneath where it doesn't get any sun but yeah, anyhow. I'm gonna not talk about the hair. I'm gonna light a candle, eat some food, and go on a walk. Because that sounds nice. <laughs>